the group Habitat for Humanity making a big announcement today to help folks who are still recovering from Hurricane Harvey in Refugio County. It's where the storm left about 70% of homes damaged or destroyed. The organization is partnering with the American Red Cross and Rebuild Texas Fund to inject more than a million dollars into repairs for low-income families. Our Bill Churchwell reports. This assistance will be a shot in the arm for Refugio County. Just driving around neighborhoods here more than one year following Hurricane Harvey, and you can still see plenty of homes that are in need of desperate repairs. A slow recovery and homes that are barely livable. Unfortunately, a lot of homes in this town look like this house. Dory Williams and Commissioner Ann Lopez taking me down one street after another, showing me the damage that still remains. When you have no place else to go, they have no choice but to stay in these homes that are unsafe. Not far away, there's an entire apartment complex fenced off and left abandoned. And as you pass through the middle of town, you will find the Refurio Volunteer Fire Station, its roof ripped off by Harvey's powerful winds. Oh, we're used to it now to come in and see uh, the floor wet. The fire chief taking me inside. The meeting room and training room, uh, for the volunteers. All the guys do is come in, get their gear out of their locker, get dressed, get in a truck and leave. We don't hang around down here because there's mold. We have seen over the past, you know, years worth of work, uh, the devastation that communities have faced. In response to the ongoing recovery efforts in Refugio County, Golden Crescent Habitat for Humanity announcing a partnership with Rebuild Texas and the American Red Cross to provide a helping hand to speed up recovery. Spending more than a million dollars to focus on homes that are so damaged they will need to be torn down and rebuilt. And our commitment right now to our funders is that we will come in and rebuild 18 homes. However, our prayer is that the Lord is going to continue to bless us with funding and we'll be able to do more homes than that. The organizations are hoping to make a difference by also bringing in a new RV park, as well as construct new structures for the fire departments both in Refugio and Woodsboro. And those are going to be hopefully um, constructed in the next three to six months, and those will serve um, as shelter for the primary trucks and equipment. Habitat for Humanity will remain in Refugio through 2021. They will begin to assess which homes will be rebuilt starting in October. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. And qualifying applicants of the new home construction program will need to be legal residents of the U.S. Living and working in the county's habitat serves for at least 12 months prior to their application and living in inadequate conditions. For more information, we have a link on our website.